Welcome back to part two. So last week we looked at how knowing a thing doesn't necessarily help, especially in the area of timing. A lot of us just want to know when is this going to be over? When is my breakthrough going to come? How long is this going to take? And we looked at some of the reasons why it might not help and the importance of fixing our eyes on Jesus and making him the priority so that we don't try doing things in our own strength or so that we don't become overwhelmed and discouraged. And so this week, I want to discuss the other two categories that tend to be a bit popular of us just wanting to know. And God does oftentimes show us and lead us to people or things and he often gives us divine revelation, but sometimes we just don't get it. So the other Another big area I thought of was, Lord, is this the person? Is this my husband? Is this my wife? And it is very important to go to the Lord because this is a big decision. But I think a lot of us want to short circuit our own use of wisdom and discernment and searching a thing out and doing our own research and getting information on the person in a natural human way by utilizing our communication skills and really searching out the person to see if we are compatible. A lot of us just want to circumvent that by just asking the Lord and the Lord just giving us a sign and signs are good but it is also good to use our wisdom and not rely on the Lord spoon feeding us for everything so that we can grow and develop and mature as the Lord designed for us to do. Especially in the area of a potential spouse, being diligent to search things out and to use wisdom and to engage with the person will also cut down on potential surprises in the future because we would already have gained that information through interacting with them through conversation and then even if the Lord does give us that big neon sign this is a person as soon as we see the person and so we don't have to worry about doing all of that are we going to continue relying on these signs throughout the marriage throughout the relationship for every decision that we have to make so there is a way I think that we can be super spiritual and impractical and short circuit the inherent designs in being human in terms of communicating naturally and using wisdom and putting together information for ourselves to make a decision. And these things can be short circuited if we're always relying on the Lord to show us a big neon sign or some sign to tell us if this is a person or if this is a decision that we should make and we were meant to reign with him as mature individuals to be able to subdue the earth and to rule over kingdoms and that requires growth and character development and communication skills there is no successful ceo of any company that continually has to be spoon fed by their predecessor or by their board on which decision to make and what to choose and who to hire there comes a point where we need to be mature and using all of the tools and the skills that the Lord has given us as human beings. The third category I thought of, of where we typically just want a glaring neon sign to know, is this the right thing? Is this the right one? Is our jobs. And again, yes, pray for everything. Look to God for everything, every detail of our lives. But there are ways that we may be short circuiting our own growth and development or super spiritualizing this whole living life thing and growing into rulers and subduers of the earth. And we also need to leave room for our own desires. The Lord says that he would grant us the desires of our hearts. So if we're always just looking to God to see, is this the person? Is this the job? Is this the thing? We're not leaving room for our heart's desires and putting requests before the Lord and saying, this is what I want and knowing our own minds and taking our own initiative and going before the Lord with requests. So I just want to encourage us to keep our eyes on Jesus, continue to petition his throne, but let us release control of needing to know certain things. Let us walk by faith, 
not by sight. Let us trust in him and lean on his understanding and not our own. And let us stay in our lane too as his children. A child is not spending a lot of time thinking about mortgage and bills and all these responsibilities. And so we need to be children of the Most High as well and let him do his God thing and know the dates and the time and the plans for our lives and the layout and all of those things. And let us just enjoy being his children, knowing that he's taking care of us, he has already gone ahead of us, he knows the job, he knows the spouse, he knows the timeline, and let us just trust that those things are safe in his hand. Let us walk by faith, not by sight, and lean not on our own understanding and our need to know all of these things, but in all of our ways, trust him. Be encouraged. See you next time.